what if there was a, a huge piece of this puzzle, guys, on the journey from you know where we are to becoming more to, to success, whatever that looks like for you, what if there was a key part of the puzzle even above and beyond and before getting clear on your why and purpose, getting into massive action? What if a place to stand on is something that we often overlook? And I would go as far as to say, based on what I'm learning and relearning and from mentors and um, people that walked, leaders who've walked this journey before, one reason why a lot of people that work hard and they're clear on their purpose never find this level of success. So I'm gonna give you an acronym, and the acronym is pronounced OPA, not Oprah, which is close. OPA, O P A, O P A. We're gonna go O P A. <laughs> and before I give you the O, which is uh, the part I really want to focus in on, I'm gonna probably do two or three videos on this, but um, this is introducing you to the concept. Okay, so the P, so M O P A down. So the P stands for your purpose and why. We all know that without the fire, without the purpose inside of you, it gets lost in translation. Uh, most of you know, I, well many of you know, I'm with a community that's crystal clear on our purpose and why and culture. You know, we're making an impact on the health and wellness of people all over the planet and we're crystal clear on that why and purpose. And then action, you know, I've always been a proponent of you got to lead by example, massive action, no matter where no matter how clear you're on your purpose and why, and you know what you want to do, you know, if you don't get into action, it won't happen. So there was a piece of the puzzle that I recently learned, or kind of relearned, if you will, uh, in a leadership program uh, called Envision You. It's amazing. And this was originally taught by the master himself, Tony Robbins. Uh, now it's uh, Rod Hairston. And the O, I want you to write down outcome. So we have outcome, purpose for the P, and A is activity or actions. And my, another word for outcome that I like to think about is a clear destination. What does the destination look like in two years, five years? I remember I mentioned a while ago, a lot of would-be successful entrepreneurs, leaders, they don't get really clear enough on this, what exactly what where they want to end up at, that they get into, they, they find their purpose and why, they get fired up, you know, like my purpose and why is helping people see this power inside and turn that light on, you know, and then I, I know the actions is new conversations and nurturing and developing leaders, okay? So, to give you an example, I was on a mentoring call yesterday with a couple from uh, down under in Brisbane, in a, uh, north of Brisbane in Australia, and beautiful couple. And I, I one part of the mentoring call, training call, I paused and said, hey guys, I don't really have a clear picture of, of where you're going to be in two years, in five years. I would love to hear that. And I disengaged this, put the tape on, and engaged these two things. And they really began to, to paint a picture of where they were going to be living, what kind of school the kids would be enrolling in. Um, they had some uh, financial stuff they were addressing, and it, but, they, but we, they were painting a very clear picture on what that looked like in a year, what that looked like in two years, what that looked like in you know five years. So they were we were getting together. We were helping them get really clear on this outcome because you can be fired up with your purpose and doing all the actions, but there's things that will pull you, and remember, every distraction is equal. So without the clear destination, you don't you don't always channel back to where you're going to be going. I And as their mentor and business partner, I now have a kind of a, if you will, a kind of a magnet or a divining, a, 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 a aligner, <laughs> whatever you wanna call it, alignment device to bring them back on track. So that's the introdu introduction of OPA. I'm gonna do uh, maybe one more video with some more real life examples of what this looks like in real life. I'm gonna uh, paint you a picture of what it looks like in my sporting journey with my, what it looked like in my archery days and my ski archery and network marketing. So look for the uh, next video. But again, 
your next conversation you have with yourself and your partners, you know, spend some time on the outcome, the foundation. Obviously, we're spending time on purpose and why and actions, but spend time on the outcome as well, the clear destination. Have an amazing day. You deserve it.